Hi, Shell Point. I'm here in Sand Dollar with a face you might recognize from Shell Point TV, Judy Owen. She is our host of Collector's Corner. Thank you for joining me today, Judy. Now, you host Collector's Corners. You go into people's homes, residents' homes, and you look at um, maybe antiques or different things they might have, and you can appraise them or research the value. How did that all start? Well, it started a lot of years ago. Uh, my husband was transferred from the Detroit, Michigan area to Allentown, Pennsylvania. And uh, we lived in a little town called Trexler Town, which was basically Pennsylvania Dutch. Uh, very few people there spoke English. Uh, I discovered almost immediately that it was an absolutely fabulous place uh, to collect antiques. And uh, within just a few years, I was able to uh, completely fill uh, our three-story, uh, our three-car garage, our basement of our home. And then I uh, bridged out a bit and, and bought a general store. Uh, and uh, actually, we rented a general store. And uh, we filled three stories of that general store with antiques. Wow. So that's how it started. Within two or three years, I had a phone call from uh, one of the major banks there asking if I would do a, uh, an estate appraisal. And I said, well, I've never done one before. And they said, well, we desperately need an appraiser. The one we've used for years doesn't care to do it anymore. So that's how it all began. And of course, the very first appraisal I was in way over my head. It was full of museum pieces, and I would hate to look back on that appraisal and see. But what I learned from it was that I needed, I needed to do a little bit of study. So I started buying uh, antique guides. I started going to classes. Uh, I joined the International Society of Appraisers. I started going to classes and conventions yearly. I went to school and did continuing study at the University of Indiana in Bloomington. And um, I finally became an official appraiser. And what are some, um, you know, if some, they might have a question about an item they have, what is your research process? How do you find out about um, the items they have? Do you go in? to look at it first and then do the research? Yes. How does that work? Yes, uh, I hate to work from a photograph. They, of course, can send a photograph to me uh, via email, and my email is in the directory. But I really need to see the item. Mm -hmm. There's just no looking at pictures. Right. I learned very early in the appraisal game, uh, one of the classes that I took in the test, they showed a magnificent bureau and everybody wrote this gorgeous description on it and put a huge price on it. And later they brought out the actual bureau, which was for a dollhouse. Wow. So yes, you really have yeah, to look. You can't judge it by a photo. No. <laughs> and you, you know, someone might have something where they don't even know it has any value. That I'm sure happens a lot where it's just in their home and could have been passed down as an heirloom. Right. But And a lot of people will say, well, I really don't care about that because I'm going to give it to my kids anyway. But I'll bet those kids would like to know. Yeah. Well, it's and it's really interesting too to know where it comes from, its history, and it's really great that you have all of that knowledge behind right. all of that. Right. Yeah. Well, we hope that we find some collector's corners. If you have a collection or just one item that you have been interested in, you've been looking at for years and you wonder where did this come from, the history behind it, Judy is your expert. So please give us a call. My number is 454-8245 and we can set you up with the collector corner expert herself.